The Ukrainian military today released 10 missiles that hit the Antonovsky Bridge, making it difficult for Russia to use again. As a result, Vladimir Putin's troops were increasingly cornered in Kherson. They have difficulty getting supplies of weapons and other logistics. Kiev fighters are still using Hamar's weapons supplied by the United States, U.S., to attack the Antonovsky Bridge. News site Vicegrad24 tweeted, The Antonovsky Bridge near Kherson is very visible this morning. Reports say that up to 10 missiles have hit the bridge. Another poster shared a different image, commenting, R.I.P. Antonovsky Bridge. A third suggested huge inevitability, posting, Ukraine hit the Antonovsky Bridge just as nine trucks of Russian ammunition were speeding towards it. Russian troops tried to shoot down the Hamar's rocket, but it didn't work. The bridge crosses the Dnieper River close to the city of Kherson. It was captured by Russian forces after heavy fighting in the days after Vladimir Putin ordered the invasion on February 24. The bridge served as an important route for supplying Russian troops on the west bank of the Dnipro. To what extent it remains usable today? Unclear. Last week, dramatic footage emerged to show the bridge being targeted by a Hamar's missile, reports express. In the short clip, the bridge-colored fireball surrounded by black smoke rises into the sky. Explosions can be heard as Russian air defense systems try in vain. It's futile to shoot down the rocket before it hits the target. The attack, Ukraine, focused on the bridge. It was to support Russian troops in Kherson. Previously, the Kiev fighters issued three warnings to Vladimir Putin's troops. First, run away while you still can. Second, give up and will be annihilated. Or thirdly, Kremlin soldiers learned to swim across the Dnieper. Military Informer, a Russian military blogger, reported that the bridge extending from the power plant dam had been damaged by Ukrainian artillery. Russia's state news agency RIA Novosti shared pictures of the bridge being repaired, but still endangering further bombardment. 